In this video, I'm going to go over how to create a custom color scheme using the SharePoint Color Palette tool. Before you're able to do this, you'll need to have custom scripts enabled on the SharePoint site. And your system admin will need to do this using a PowerShell command. Um, I will link to a Microsoft article below that details how to do this. In some cases, you might not be able to get this done for security reasons. In that case, you'll want to stick to using the default themes and color schemes, which actually will provide you with a good amount of flexibility. Uh, my video on how to do that is linked below. To check if the correct things are enabled on the site, go to Site Contents, Site Settings, and if you see these three things, Master Pages, Themes, Composed Looks, under Web Designer Galleries, then you're good. If you only see site columns and site content types, then custom scripts are not enabled. Most likely, you'll want to base your color palette off of one of the default ones. So in order to download one of the default ones to open up in the color palette tool, go to Composed Looks. I'm going to base it off of a palette called Red down here. So I'll just click on this, download it. And then we'll open it up in SharePoint Color Palette Tool. There's the one we've just downloaded. This is red. However, each color palette has its main color that's sort of the main accent color that it's based off of. You can change this by clicking this right here. You can change it to another color. And then click Recolor, and it will change all instances of that red to different hues of the color you picked, different hues, tints, and shades, and so on. You might notice, however, that some of the other things, like secondary colors, are pretty much unchanged. It will take a bit of work to go through this and create a full custom color palette, and you might end up with some things that don't quite look right. This view, contrast test view, will show you all of the different types of text on all of the different backgrounds they'll show up on. I'd watch out especially for subtle emphasis backgrounds and subtle emphasis texts. Sometimes you'll come up with stuff that's essentially unreadable. So you will have to do a little bit of going through um, bucket by bucket, or you can also uh, group them in a different way, like types of UI, for example, different types of text, and look for things that are essentially unreadable or are hard to read and fix those. Compared to just going off of default color schemes, this definitely takes a lot more time in tweaking. So for now, I'll just upload this one and then we'll also use one that I've made before. We've made our new color palette and we're going to be able to use that with a new composed look that we will make. But first, we have to upload our color palette. I'm going to go into Site Settings and Themes because that's where the other palettes are. So we'll just upload our dark orange palette that I just made. So now what we need to do is go back to Site Contents, Site Settings, Composed Looks, and we'll create a new item. So first then we'll just put in our name. The important parts are these URLs, and since we're on a sub-site, it's going to have to start with this um, bit at the front here, sites, and then the site name. And I'm just going to use one of the default master pages. In fact, the default, which is Seattle. Meanwhile, the theme URL is actually the URL of the color palette that we uploaded. Image URL, we can safely leave blank for now. And for our font scheme URL, uh, we will use just one of the default font schemes. And we'll save this. Now we'll go to Site Contents, 
site settings, change the look, and our theme should show here. And I think I picked the wrong font set, so I'm just going to change it here. I'll click try it out. And once it loads, we will click yes, keep it. And there we have it. Here is the color palette that we just made modified off of that default red color palette. However, I'll also show you the color palette that I made that more closely matches our corporate colors. We'll just go back to change the look and I'll show you this one. I have to change this background image. It wasn't the one that I really wanted to use. It was too bright. So we'll add in this one. And we'll change to it. And that is how you create a custom composed look for SharePoint Modern with a custom color palette. I hope that was helpful. Just leave your comments or questions below in the video or on the blog articles comment section. Alright, have a good day. Thank you.